Although this is not a spring chicken and this looks a little bit odd as well. It's post St. Patrick's Day and we're trying to figure out what to do with leftovers. Oh, which is probably not the leftovers a lot of you are thinking about because you might still be recovering from St. Patrick's Day. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Snow in Southern California during St. Patrick's Day. Oh yeah, all the problem is, I mean, it, we can see it from on the highway to snow all over the mountains, which is sort of amazing considering April is coming up. But um, it did snow, but we, we, we don't have any anything anybody that can show us snow because by the time you got here, the wind had blown everything away. Uh, and the Obama administration calls for an investigation on Apple. Yeah, Obama's throwing the Apple people under the wheels of his express bus because what happened was they did actually illegally manipulate the market today by telling people they're going to give a $30 billion dividend to the people that invested in Apple. Of course, who profited mostly from the raising of the stock? Mm -hmm. The people that basically said they were going to give the dividend because they're all the big stockholders in the company, which means you manipulated the stock on a massive uh, scale today, and that is illegal. Can Rick Santorum pull off an act of God? Well, no, he's not going to win any Illinois. He's basically, the trick is he's not, he doesn't have a full slate in Illinois, and he doesn't have the, uh, uh, Romney is winning not on the fact that people like Romney, but Romney is basically outspending Santorum 10 to 1. And uh, you cannot compete with money when it comes to these elections anymore because, I mean, Okay, you would put it this way, if Ron Paul had the money that Santorum has, Ron Paul would be the second person in the contest. Because Ron Paul has got a, he's got a, he can put together a base, Santorum's base is all loonies. I mean, we're talking, to the, we're talking to their version, the Christian version of the Taliban is who basically supports uh, Santorum. I mean, we're going to put a halt to pornography. Do you consider, you know, uh, our, you know, well, I consider the filth in, the, you know, in the Sistine Chapel. Mm -hmm. You know, Michelangelo's David would have to be covered if he was in our country. Those people are weird. And Arizona may relax contraceptive coverage mandate. Don't bet on it because it simply, simply is very, uh, very simple. If you got to cover a woman, you got to cover a male. Mm -hmm. Males are not being permitted to be covered under these things, so therefore, it, according to the law, that's a no-no. You cannot decide that one, you know, you can't decide women are better than men, and that women don't need, uh, women need contraception, well then why can't men have Viagra? And it's, that's the way it works in this real world in the legal system. And under Secretary Clooney, Starr rules it out for now. Ah, uh, he just basically looks like Clooney is getting ready to run for public office because okay, Clooney's movies don't make any money. I mean, well, do you think that it had anything to do with him being arrested? That's why he did it. He's doing. He's starting his political campaign. He's 50 years old. He doesn't want to do the roles that can make him to keep him star power. And Hollywood's not going to give him Oscars like he thought he was going to get. I mean. When, when, when you do, if you see one movie, you see every Clooney movie, which always has a political statement in it, and people don't pay. I mean, but they like seeing him in the other movies. But he won't do it. Not in the political. I ones, mean, this other. guy walked out on playing the head of, uh, of, of you know, the the, uh, the Leo G. Carroll part in The Man from Uncle, which is basically you walk around and look good in a tuxedo. Mm -hmm. He turned that down because it was too much action. What? He's 50 years old and a wimp. Oh, George. Yeah. And thousands still without power after Boston blaze. Yeah, and, and we're talking this is days later. <laughs> we're without power here in Southern California, too. It, the oh, the power out. has been. Yeah, the wind took out. I mean, it was so cold that it was making, uh, they were overwhelming the heat and my in my apartment because, I mean, the doors are banging back and forth and the windows are bouncing in and out because, uh, yeah, I, I live in a like a cat, uh, an old hot cat, cat, you know, basically it's a courtyard place, and the courtyard basically really looks nice, but unfortunately it's like it's go boom, 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 boom. And begs to pay twenty five million dollars to New York State over mortgage system. Uh, okay, uh, if Obama wasn't president, these banks would be telling people where they could take it because I mean it's ridiculous. Every time Obama goes after somebody, they give you a new fee at the bank. Mm -hmm. who, and so who is paying 
for all these government laws, the people are paying for every single thing that Obama does. I love this one. Toilet paper crisis averted in New Jersey's capital city. Well, you know, a toilet paper crisis. They, they couldn't, couldn't get it shipped in. I mean, I, it, basically, what happens is, if you notice, the toilet paper no longer hits the fits the rolls in your bathrooms, because the toilet paper rolls are not quite as big as they used to be. And uh, the Obama administration wants you to use a one ply, one sheet toilet sheet of toilet paper every time you go to the bathroom, which doesn't really work. And great cabinet formally approves the bailout deal. Yeah, and next month they're all going to be thrown out of office, which means when the new cabinet comes in, they'll unapprove everything. <laughs> well, they don't have any money. Okay, you cannot lay off 180,000 public workers because they're, uh, what are they going to do? 180,000 people, workers generally have 180,000 families. Those 180,000 families help to support grocery stores, other businesses. So basically you cause a god-awful, it's why, why, why government is not getting any smaller here because there's nothing to do with those people since there's no place to put them if they get fired. A departing Goldman banker slams ripoff culture. Oh, because it basically, he, a guy got fired, so what he's doing, he's doing a vindictive thing. They said there's nothing that this, there's nothing that anybody didn't know before. But he said that they, they think that people are clowns. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we went to a fashion week where they thought everybody was clowns, so what's the mm -hmm. difference? And CDC launching graphic anti-smoking ad campaign. Which they have already been told they cannot do because it's a, it's a, the courts have basically ruled against them because you cannot put material that looks like that out in public. Here's the thing is, the Obama, well, they need to then put the cigarettes behind the counter where no one can see them. And if people want to buy them, then they can ask for them. No, that's called censorship again, and you basically, you, you, if you can legally sell the item, you don't have to hide the item from people like the Obama administration. Remember, <laughs> under the Obama administration, you have you will have to hire, hide French fries. You can't put them on the I menu. I think that's the most ridiculous thing. The pizza stores are next on the list. You're not going to, you got to have a, a pizza restaurant in which pizza cannot be displayed on a menu. And Obama and Cameron shift an Afghan war role in 2013. Yeah, they're getting ready to, okay, the British are already leaving and Obama's fleeing the scene of the fight, so. A U.S. Afghan killing suspect flown to Kuwait. Oh, I know, and he's back home now. The problem is, oh, the Democrats are, Obama's really, this guy, you know, he, the clues were all there, but the military didn't do it, you know. He wasn't, his, his neighbors all of a sudden, he thought he was a model person, well, he was, we were worried about him all the time. Mm -hmm. They're, they're trying to build up a thing where they're going to, they're, where the guy should be in a, in a hospital, they're trying to try to execute him, which is not going to happen because all the Obama attacks on the military always are losing in the court system because the people are not convicting them no matter what Obama wants done. And GOP fight for delegates stretches to Puerto Rico. Yeah, and Romney won all the delegates. Well, because Santorum, you talk about loony. You know, well, I, I support you for being a state, but you're going to have to stop speaking Spanish and speak English. Mm -hmm. Well, they all speak English. A U.S. A soldier in Afghan massacre arrives in Kansas, at Kansas base. We oh, don't see that. That's one news item after another. <laughs> same, same thing from the same people, but it, 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 okay. Basically, we're in a really, okay, here's the news for today. President of the United States isn't bringing in the money that he hoped to bring in. He, he needs to bring in $100 million a month and is only bringing in 20 to $40 million a month. Mm -hmm. No billion dollar campaign in his sight. Yeah. And Turkey considers Syria buffer zone. Anon seeks unity. Yeah, okay. Anon, okay, they've already stated that this is not the same as Egypt. This is not the same as, as Libya. This is totally different. Well, the totally different is he controls Damascus and he controls the military and the, 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 uh, the, 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 the Chinese and the Russians want Damascus. I mean, basically, if they could find somebody else that would give them the, the port of Damascus, they would dump Assad in a second. But right now, you know, they Damascus and no one else does so. Goldman personally to Apple Intel Secrets lawyer. Probably. Let's that's, that's do it all the time. That's the, if you want, what happens is, if you want client, what happens is Apple leaks material to the stock brokerages, then the stock brokerages leak the material so you know when to invest in the company. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Okay, nothing is forever.